All right then, how are you doing? Uh, my name is irrelevant at this stage, uh, but this is um, a budget sound guys course, or a budget sound guys boy, for budget sound on short films. Now, I find that um, when I meet groups, like there's a group specifically in town that I meet, and a variety of people who want to make film short films on a zero budget they always struggle with sound um, a person to do sound and this little video is just a budget way of doing sound art it's, it's not really a free budget or a budget a low budget and it's a low budget gig thing but sound is very important in film and everyone knows that and if you don't know that you should know that depending on the film if you make it but sound is very important and having good audio is very important to keep the audience attention uh, in the film and a lot of people now are using these road mics or not these um, wireless tiktok tingly jig things and you can see them in film you don't want to see the microphone you don't want to see it no point in seeing it even you know you might have lapel mics but they're great for interviews that's another story altogether but I'm going to show you a, a little kit that I use for short films, which I think, well, it's budget, it's a job, it's nothing spectacular, uh, but it's lasted the test of time, uh, I'm talking years. So, I use a H5 Zoom recorder, and you can get them for about €250, Euros, depending on where you go looking for the foot, they're relatively cheap, um, I think it's up to the Zoom or the S or Z, or I think it's a 6 or 7 model now. I can't even remember H, H6 or 7 or even 8 I don't even know I can't remember off the top of my head because uh, I'm getting old and I'm losing my marbles <coughs> anyway it shoots or it has two XLR imports for an XLR cable the XLR cable is male and female connecting to um, the condenser microphone now if you have a boom hole which you should have just enables you not to be in the shot so it's a boom pole uh, with a shock mount for your microphone to go into shock mount and your boom pole connected connected gives you range and that range keeps you out of the shot and the microphone in the shot hence sound boom ball boom ball board man boom man whatever you want to call it and very inexpensive so these are about 79 to 80 euros, right? The microphones about 250 euros to 300 euros and go up in price. Okay, XLR, uh, male and female connections to your uh, Zoom, about 20 quid, you know, give or take. Really, really cheap, uh, very handy to use. And um, then we have your windshield. You need a windshield, especially in Ireland, a windshield. So your microphone goes into that and it's total dusted, uh, you know. And then you better make sure your uh, H5 Zoom has an uh, SD card in it or else your effect. So that's all you realistically need for a short film. And it all comes under a thousand euros. Now, if you are a DP, constantly changing lenses, constantly changing cameras, bodies, constantly changing all the time, uh, I find, and it's just, it's, you know, everyone wants to be the DP, but DPs have to have an extreme lot of knowledge in, in relation to being a DP, uh, so if you're a videographer, same deal, you need a lot of knowledge, but having camera with multiple lenses that takes time and jazz and if you really want to do film sound is your only man I think you know, if you want to get involved in little networks so like I said it's very inexpensive uh, sound but it's good to have good quality sound I know you're doing as well so this is my little uh, video on that and I just thought I'd put this video together because I'm bored and I thought maybe some people might be interested in it. Uh, if you're interested in asking questions, walk away. 
I'm not particularly bothered if you do or don't. Uh, if you do, I obviously don't know if it's spawn to you. If you don't, yeah. That's just how it rolls. So, look, thanks for watching the full five minutes and um, hey, hey, hey.